They didn't think they needed to, to let the public know. Amid accusations of delayed public notification on the 20,000 plus barrel oil spill in a North Dakota field on September 29th, officials say they followed the law every step of the way. According to the North Dakota Department of Health, their first responsibility is to identify public health issues. If there's a silver lining here, it was lost in a field that has no groundwater. Uh, there's a clay barrier at 10 to 14 feet and it's contained. But critics are unhappy about the 12 day lapse between the oil spill and public notification. In some ways this is business as usual at, at the North Dakota Health Department and, and the current North Dakota state government. In an age where many say we already have too much government in our lives, others assert events like this highlight the need for more, not less, regulation and control. While the North Dakota Public Service Commission does not have jurisdiction once crude lines become operational, it says leak detection on this pipeline failed. So that's one of the key things of this investigation as FEMSA continues with the investigation is why didn't this SCADA system work the way it was supposed to? Going forward, it's suggested this shouldn't be left to the federal government alone. Maybe we should look at the PSC uh, getting more involved in the inspections of crude oil lines like this because we do it with natural gas lines. Um, it would take some more people, but we could go out and become almost like the, the next layer of protection for the state of North Dakota. As for the public notification part of the problem. That's something that we're looking at is how, how we can we do a better job getting that information from the field into the office in a timely manner and getting that out to the public. In Bismarck for KX News, Barbara Sharp.